Hello everyone, welcome to the tutorial. Let's start off with the Amazon Web Services setup. And Amazon Web Services is providing a year of free use with 750 hours every month. So if you are using WordPress, you can use Amazon Web Services, it's a pretty nice option. So let's try aws.amazon.com and go to the sign in. If you are a new user, then just register. If you are a returning user, then enter your password and just log in. So let's start with the registration. So basically, I have an account in Amazon Web Services. This is just for your presentation purposes. And if you have a debit card, then it's fine. You will be deducted rupees two from it. Otherwise, you can create an account in free charge and get a free virtual MasterCard from there. And you can also use that to activate your account. And I use that only. And the rupees two will be refunded to your account after two days. So once you have done the registration, you have to log in. So your email. And I am a returning user, so your password. So just enter your password and sign in. Um, in the splash screen, just click on sign into the console. Yeah. So Amazon Web Services is not only used for virtual servers; they are used for much more purposes. So don't get confused in the screen. Just click on EC2. That's the first option. So let's wait. okay so after this screen opens we have to create a new instance that click on launch instance it will lead you to the setup wizard so go to the marketplace and uh, type wordpress and search uh, choose the first option wordpress powered by bitnami and just follow the procedures don't follow the official procedure cause it will get in get you into some trouble so you have to get a key also otherwise you will not be able to use the SSH console much easily so you can leave all this as it is and uh, I am just enabling the termination protection cause it's safe otherwise your system will be deleted on termination uh, you can reallocate the size or otherwise leave it to 10 GB if it's fine for you and turn on the delete on termination it's on you enter any key name or oh, I'm using just WordPress here both the fields it will help you to identify and uh, leave all this as it is because this is nothing we care of so last step launch yeah let's go yeah this part is given wrong in the amazon official tutorial just create and key and download the key otherwise you will not be able to use ssh console So it takes some time to get the instance started, it will be booting up, but uh, give it time, wait for the icon to turn green, and uh, let's see if the IP opens, copy the public IP, and slash admin for your WP admin, so oops, it's not connecting, uh, what's wrong, well it's initializing still, oh my mistake, uh, okay, let's wait so it's green now it should uh, open uh, slash admin here yeah. oops it's still time out and what's wrong okay let's ping it once more okay you have the blog ready and you just got a login the username will be user and for the password you have to check your system log just right click or go to actions and view system log 
scroll down you will be able to see the key with some hashes like borders just copy the key and paste and login so this is everything like uh, this is your control panel of the wordpress you have a new wordpress site if you want you can update the plugins all of them are outdated some are preloaded so just update the plugins and um, if you have any previous site like uh, your old wordpress site you can install it too i mean you can migrate it to, to the new server for that you have to install a new plugin all in one wp migration search the store you will get it so let's activate the all in one wp migration activated there is an error because it doesn't have any access to the directory i mean rewrite access because it's a private server it's much more secure so you have to change the permissions manually so for changing the purpose you will be needed an SSH client and I am using putty over there so download putty and you remember we downloaded the key when we were starting so putty down start support PEA you have to get a PPK key for putty so open the gen and this oops where is it so uh, yeah this one um, yeah so save private key save it in the desktop or however you want name it something dot ppk so i'm using wordpress dot ppk here yeah so let's close it so it's done so next thing we got to do is uh, chmod with 777 so let's connect so enter your server ip <laughs> in the ssh console and then the port and then use a key authorization browse the key and use the key so remember one thing after you set up the elastic ip that i'll be showing after some time you have to use the elastic ip for login in to the ssh console so login as bitnami b-i-t-n-a-m-i it will be verifying the key and you are logged in so copy the path and uh, sudo sudo chmod777 space the directory there you go let's see oops there are no such directories maybe making um, some making some mistake here yeah. just remove the storage and just try once more okay so it's chmoded and you currently have the permission to modify it so let's go back to the site and let's see for the pl plugin yeah there are no errors now so from the install this plugin in your old site and uh, do an export and if you're willing to spend some money you can get a plugin and get some extension that will directly import your blog but for now just go to export and export file and import the same file to your blog new blog that's all so this is everything with the setting up you have already your blog set up but ips keep changing so you need a new elastic address allocate new elastic address and associate okay so it's done and uh, this elastic ip will be the new ip of your server and never lose your old ip the actual ip of your server because it can be easily attacked so it's working so you can use the dns of your domain or you can use the cloudflare just add a new website uh, any website so you just need to verify some DNS records add some DNS records CNAME records and uh, a records so your domain should forward to the IP so 
it's not my domain name it's just for example so it's my domain name anyway in the dns part you all you have to do is uh, copy the elastic ip and in the name field just enter your website address whatever your website address is for me it's blogster.com so you, you go to the domain name just enter your domain name.com or whatever you have and in the ipv4 address just enter you can use the wwwc name it's an alias of your blogs domain name It takes time to get the DNS propagated and the name servers all running. It will take some time. Try after a few hours, your blog will be working. Your domain will be working. Just try to open it. <laughs> 